Now if we look to see if there's some extra padding or something being added to this, it doesn't look like it. So where is this extra space over here coming from? Well, if it was margin or padding, we would see it as a different color other than that blue. So what I think is happening is that the size of the actual character in this font is a little bit bigger than the icon itself. So we need some way to get rid of that. Now if we click on the before so we can adjust the styles of the previous icon here, what we can do is actually set a negative margin to push it to the left. So if we added positive margin, it would push it to the right, but negative margin will bring it left. So let's try that. We'll do margin left and let's try negative 100 pixels. Hey, all right, that bumps it over pretty close. Now to get it aligned with the right navigation, it looks like it needs to be pulled over a little more. So we'll try 30. That looks good, maybe just a little too close. So let's try 20, maybe 25. Okay, to me that looks pretty good. So let's go back to our code and add it in permanently. Here's our previous button selector and we'll set the margin left to negative 125 pixels. We'll save it and refresh. And now I'm just gonna scroll around a little bit, make sure it looks good. Okay, 